Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrica. So today's session is going to be a very interesting session because I am going to answer a very common question that you guys have asked me again and again about the secondary beams. So uh, I will not waste more time and let's jump into the tutorial. So here you can see I have modeled some uh, beams here. So I have assumed that these beams these beams 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are the primary beams and these beams which are going from this end to the last end so these two beams are my uh, secondary beams. So we all know that the beams which are resting on another beam is, uh, is a secondary beam and the beams which are uh, you can say connected to the column column to column these are called my uh, you can say primary beams right. So here I have considered that these two beams are my secondary beams, continuous secondary beams and these beams are my primary beams, okay. So now let us, let me just uh, show you one thing, uh, what I have done here. Here you can see, uh, these are my uh, primary beams, these are my primary beams uh, along this Z direction and along the Y direction I have a continuous uh, uh, secondary beams. But here I have released the moment uh, my and mz in these two farthest ends only okay I have released the moment here and at the very end here not in between now the question is uh, why I have released these ends and why I have not released the intermediate ends okay so why I have released the ends many of you may know I will be explaining again and the main concept is why I have not released the intermediate, uh, uh, you can say, spans here. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's open a diagram here. You can see here. Let me just uh, open it. So, you can see here, uh, it is a primary beam as I have just uh, explained. So, this is a primary beam. Okay and another beam is resting on that particular beam here so this is my secondary beam okay so uh, in case of our normal beam column junction where uh, like the beam is resting on the you can say beam is connected to the column we wish to provide such you can say uh, development lengths or the encourage lengths okay so why we provide the development lengths by uh, providing the development lengths, we ensure more rigidity here, right. So, as it is rigid, so what will happen? We will be having a bending moment diagram, something like this. Sorry, let me draw it properly. So, the bending moment diagram will be something like this. Okay. It will be my bending moment diagram the mid span we will be having the sagging moment here okay so here we will be having my sagging moment and at the ends at as these ends are rigid ends okay very rigid ends so we can consider this uh, partially fixed so uh, it will be showing you the you can say uh, hogging moments obviously as these ends are we are considering fixed or more rigid so it will be showing you the hogging moments but in case of in case of a secondary beam resting on another beam if you see suppose this is my primary beam okay this is my primary beam and i have my suppose i have the stirrups and the main reinforcement right now here suppose another beam which is my secondary beam it is coming like this or maybe I will increase the depth a bit coming like this. So obviously the reinforcement of this particular beam will also come here right. So will be it will be coming like this maybe Like this and we will be having the stirrups. Now the problem here is let me draw it in a different color I think the uh, reinforcement will be will be like this actually. Right. 
right now the problem here is the problem if you see here uh, that we need to provide the development length or the i can say encourage length ld right but here when a small beam or when a beam is resting on another beam which is my primary beam and the secondary beam okay so the secondary beam is resting on the primary beam in that case you may not have enough space here to provide this development length for the particular beam okay so and in some cases you may have this option you may have a possibility to provide development length for your uh, you can say or the encourage length for your uh, secondary beam to the to your uh, you can say uh, primary beam you may have space to embed the reinforcement inside but the problem here is even if you uh, if you uh, provide the encourage length enough encourage length so what will happen uh, as you you are making the connection between this beam and the secondary beam rigid so what will happen whenever you have load on this particular beam it will try to will try to twist suppose suppose let me just uh, let me just omit a bit i will draw it again suppose this is my primary beam i have a secondary beam from here okay now suppose you are uh, having load on this particular beam udl load maybe so in that case this beam will bend like this beam will bend like this it will try to bend and as you are making this connection between the secondary beam and primary beam rigid if you have space to provide or if you are providing the development length so in that case what will happen this connection will be very rigid and it will lead to a twisting uh, you can say behavior in the primary beam so the primary beam will twist like this there will be a twisting behavior in the primary beam or we may call this behavior as torsion so as you know in our is code or in any other code you will see that if you have torsion in the beam so in that case uh, specially what will happen see uh, generally if you have fixed moment here if you have sorry fixed connection here so you will be having you will be having the moment like this hogging moment like this here right you will be having this hogging moment here and hogging moment here so this hogging moment is turning to a torsional moment for the primary beam okay this hogging moment is uh, uh, you can say it it leads to a torsional moment in the primary beam okay so this torsion if you have this torsion what will happen uh, our is code says that if you have torsion in your beam in that case you have to design the the beam with for a equivalent moment for a equivalent moment which is the combination of the analysis moment or the flexural moment plus the moment due to torsion okay and you have we have the i am not going to discuss this now uh, maybe it will i will cover this in a different uh, different video so we have a formula to find out what is the uh, moment due to torsion and then uh, the flexural moment and we need to add the moment due to torsion and whatever equivalent moment we are getting add, adding up these two then we need to design the beam for this particular moment and this will be my design moment actually okay this will be my design moment now the problem here is here as the moment is increasing obviously the reinforcement of the beam will be increasing and it will lead to a heavy design of the primary beam so you will see that many of the structural engineers avoid providing you can say development length from secondary beam to the primary beam even if it is possible okay so what we do actually we pro embed like this only like this only we do not provide enough even it is possible most of the cases it is not possible but if you have a very higher depth of the you can say primary beam so some in some cases it is possible so uh, though uh, we are not going to provide it actually okay so we used to embed like this only so that it, there will be there will, will not be enough rigidity in this particular junction okay now that's why what we do we consider this particular junction that means the beam where 
uh, the secondary beam where it is resting on the primary beam we used to release the moments here so that we get a uh, you can say behavior like this like this so there will be no hogging moment so there are, as there is no hogging moment it will not lead to a like it's a torsional movement in the in the primary beam so there will be higher sagging moment obviously as we have released so there will be higher sagging moment okay so that's why we release the ends of the uh, secondary beam so this is very clear to uh, most of most of you now the question is why suppose you have uh, let me remove uh, let me erase it here and i let me draw another option okay let me draw another and uh, you can say case okay so it was the first case now the second case is you have a primary beam here you have a primary beam here and you have a primary beam here and suppose you have secondary beam on like this a continuous secondary beam like this. now how should be the behavior if you release as we uh, just now uh, we have learned that we need to release this more ends right of the secondary beam now should we release the ends if we release the ends how we are going to get the uh, moment we'll be getting the moment like this right if it is a center point let me draw from center we'll be getting the we'll be getting the moment like this like this so is this the way we should get the moment or we will be getting it in a different manner so let us know that so here i have taken two images if you see here i have taken two images where i have suppose let us consider let us consider this is one primary beam this is one primary beam on top of it we have a secondary beam which are simply supported we are considering this as a simply supported both the ends i have given some load so in that case we are having this simply supported behavior right now here we have three continuous uh, three primary beams and we have a continuous secondary beam where these ends are not fixed right it has it is simply supported so here there is as there is it is simply supported so there will be no moment see this end is allowed to move uh, move up so obviously there is no restriction or it will be like there will be no uh, you can say uh, fixity to restrict this movement so there will be no moment right here also it is simply supported so there will be no moment but at the mid span though it is simply supported but the behavior if you see the behavior if you see here uh, carefully you will see that it is going like this and here it is going up right here it is going like this and here it is going up again it is going like this so though it is simply supported but to maintain the continuity of the beam okay to maintain the continuity of the beam we are having some you can say hogging moment here as it is going up so obviously there will it will it will create some hogging moment so in the in the real case how it is happening actually in the real case if you see this is my primary beam this is my primary beam and this is my primary beam okay and suppose here i have the secondary beam like this like this so how we are going to provide the reinforcement if you see how we are going to provide the reinforcement so obviously we are going to provide the reinforcement like this we will continue the reinforcement like this we will end it here here also we will do the same or maybe uh, let me let me read this so at the bottom we will do like this we will continue it we will provide the reinforcement like this the top it will be something like this then we will continue like this like this right so here we have made it simply supported but to maintain the continuity you can say 
what will happen so to maintain the continuity we will have a sagging moment here we will have sagging moment here so if it is the center line if it is the center line it is the center line so as we have provided this reinforcement so what we have done we have made this beam as a continuous beam so obviously we are going to get the behavior something like this so here you will see that we are having hogging moments but these two ends there will be no hogging moments okay so uh, because of this hogging moment we have provided this top reinforcement here right so to why we have uh, getting this we are getting this uh, hogging moment as i have explained in the in the image that to maintain the continuity of the beam this is a continuous beam and we will be providing the reinforcement like this right so to maintain the continuity we will be having this hogging moment the mid span now if we release these ends of this two uh, you can say one two secondary beams so what will happen the behavior will automatically change and we will be getting a behavior like this which is not desirable we should get the behavior like this is desirable right so that's why whenever we have a continuous beam doesn't matter how many uh, you can say uh, primary beams we have in between suppose we have one beam two beam 3 beam, 4 beam like this and we have a secondary beam like this. So, we just have to release these two ends, the farthest ends of the continuous beam. In between, we will be as we will be having hogging moment, so we do not have to release it. Okay. Now, it is if it is a beam like this only, 1 beam, 2 beam and we have a uh, uh, okay, secondary beam like this. So, obviously, we will be releasing the two ends and the behavior will be like this. But whenever we have a continuous secondary beam, in that case, the internal uh, spans we should not release actually. Okay, the internal ends we should not release. So that's why, if you see, that's why in the so here I have not released, not released these ends. So let's see how it is showing the behavior. So if I just I have given some load also here, see, given some load also. So if I just run the analysis. Let us go to the post processing mode. Okay. I want to see the major moment. So now you can see here. Now you can see for these ends where I have released, there is no hogging moment. But at the mid span, to maintain the continuity, we are getting the hogging moment. Okay. We are getting the hogging moment. So if you release, obviously this hogging moment will not be there. So that's why you should not release this. Inter, uh, intermediate ends of the continuous secondary beam okay so that is the thing many people have doubt that why we should release these two ends only if you have a continuous secondary beam why you should not release these internal ends also so this is the reason that whenever we have a continuous beam to maintain the continuity even though these ends are uh, i can say simply supported uh, these mid ends uh, internal ends so uh, still we will be having some hogging moment here and i have i have already already shown you the uh, example also with a paper that we are having is an upward movement here right so it is going up here that's why we are having some hogging moment here okay even though it is simply supported so uh, i hope uh, this video will clear your doubt pro uh, and uh, uh, i will try to make such uh, videos uh, in future also so please do let me know if you have uh, uh, you can say if you have any suggestion for me so that i can consider those suggestions and i can make videos on those particular topics so thank you so much and see you in the next video